Hey guys, how are you? Hey, it's Barry Thiel here. I just wanted to show you how effective HD polish is with the new Lake Country Ultra Fiber Microfiber Disc uh, cutting disc, along with the HD polisher. Um, anyway, this is brand new, coming to the market shortly. Uh, this is a 5.25 inch pad. We've used it, abused it, played with it, tested it. Absolutely amazing pad. Um, Anyway, I got a black Mustang in here. Probably in that reflection, it looks good. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and I want to show you how bad the holograms and the swirls are underneath these halogens. So check it out. We'll be right back. All right guys, as you've seen, this paint is just, it's ridiculous. Um, loaded with tons of deep marring, some serious scratching. Anyway, let me show you to, how to use the HD polish with a microfiber pad to finish down with excellent results. And this paint's pretty bad, as you've seen. First, what you want to do is you want to prime your pad, the Lake Country pad. So what I like to do when I prime is run a little bit right around on the edge okay now the trick with priming is there's nothing crazy all you want to do is just spread it around like butter okay and when spots when you have too much it's easy to just keep spreading and eventually it's going to work itself in so you can see okay how nice that is now that the pads prime you just want to take real quick real simple three little dots of the polish maybe four I like to do four some people recommend three but I'm going to do four okay now at this point you've got a cutting disc with a polish so what I'm actually going to do is use the abrasive of the disc to knock away the defects and finish down with probably one of the best polishes on the market HD's polish so first I want to put the machine down to speed dial three on the machine, and then at this point, I'm just going to work and spread it around ever so slowly to get the polish moving. I'm trying to work a two by two area, you know, nothing big, nothing crazy. Okay, now that the machine has spread the polish, I'm working overlapping passes. So I'm coming this way, down, this way, down, this way. And then I'm going to call what they do cross hatching and come back and around. Okay, now keep in mind, you never ever want to run a machine above about speed 5 when using a microfiber disc. Okay, the trick here is slow, easy, and controlled with just a little bit of pressure. So what I'm going to do is set the, the disc at 5, the machine. And So you want to look and you want to check your results. Okay. Now, there's still, as I'm looking, you can still see there are some deeper, deeper swirls in there. But what we're going to do is take a second pass and knock those out. But at this point, there's a drastic, drastic difference between this side right here, here, and the side that we polished. So anyway, we're going to apply a little bit more product, and again, repeat the process for my second pass.
Okay, at this point I did two passes. What I did was I used a microfiber cutting disc and polishing disc. It's actually an all-in-one disc and just a light, simple polish. Um, keep in mind, I wasn't striving for absolute perfection. The video here was to show you that an everyday guy can pick up a machine, a polish, and a pad and not be afraid to get phenomenal results. Um, especially for the do-it-yourself at home, things like that. So let me go ahead and I'm going to show you the results that I've gotten. And keep in mind, this is something anybody can do. You can keep it simple. Um, you're going to see here that the majority of the defects were removed with one simple step. There are a few lighter scratches, but when you look at the overall picture, you're going to see some pretty phenomenal results, I must say. Anyway, let's check out the results. Anyway guys, thanks a lot, and remember, keep detailing simple, HD polish, you know, it's a final polish that will provide incredible results, especially paired with the Lake Country Ultra Fiber Microfiber Disc. Um, anyway, enjoy your day, thanks for watching, later.